Hi, I want to um, talk about module three, the um, project and the um, things you'll be required to do. So I'm going to share my screen and I am going to use the instructor notes that are provided under the um, course content for module three. So what I have here is the instructor notes already filled out. You'll be required to complete um, the ratios for um, a company. When you open up your project, it's extremely important, as I think you know by now, to read the instructions. And one of the first things you're going to be doing uh, once you've saved your uh, file onto your hard drive is to enter your eCampus username. Again, don't capitalize, no spaces, no uh, at mix. It's not an email, it's your username. So anyways, um, if you would, uh, once you fill that in, you'll see a schedule similar to this. It won't be filled in, but you'll see um, income statement and balance sheet. And then you'll be asked to calculate other ratios besides what I have here in the notes. What I'd like to do though, is go through and talk about those specific ratios. There's different ways of analyzing companies and it's uh, important to not just use one analysis and then try to make uh, predictions or uh, generalizations. So the first one I wanna talk about is trend, trend analysis and that's basically gonna um, tell you how much a line item has increased or decreased from the prior year. So in this example, now I am going to delete this one so you can see how it's calculated. But in doing this, you're basically going to equal, enter equal. And then what we wanna do is see the change. So I'm gonna take the current, the most recent year and subtract from it the prior year. And I get, and these are all, by the way, in millions. So that's one billion one hundred and two million dollar increase. Now, dollars are uh, less useful uh, when you're trying to make comparisons to different size companies. So it's important to express it as a percentage. The percentage is your change divided by your base year, which is your um, prior year. And then you hit enter, and I have this formatted as a uh, percentage. So that's how you do the percent change. You do it for each line item. So you can see then, um, and then we do it again. Uh, this is for the prior, the prior two years, if you will, where I will show you here. You're taking your, again, to get, get, get it so you can see how to do it. In this case, we're comparing uh, the change between these two years, so you take your the most recent year in this comparison, minus that year prior, hit enter, and this account decreased by 110% to get it as a percentage again, so you can make comparisons to other companies or industry averages. You take the change and divide it by the base year or the prior year the earlier year. Okay, so that's a, uh, not even a 1% decrease. So that's the trend analysis. You can see over here for the balance sheet, we do the exact same thing, same exact process. You're taking the difference and dividing it by the base. As far as common size, that's a, a measurement of uh, how much each line item is a is a percentage of a total. And the totals depend on what statement. The typical here is to, when doing a common size analysis for an income statement, we try to basically look at how much do each of these line items, how, what proportion of sales do each of these line items make up? So the base is gonna be our net sales. So here you can see it's 100%. Well, you're taking your, net sales divided by your net sales. By the way, the word net means, uh, as mentioned in a previous video, it's your sales price times your quantity minus any adjustments for things like um, 
discounts or returns and allowances given to customers beyond the scope of this course. Let me go ahead and do this one for you just so you again can see how it's calculated. I wanna see how much cost of goods sold for 2021, how much, what proportion of that expense um, is, uh, is, is uh, it, uh, how, what proportion is cost of goods sold as a percentage of your sales? So a large part of your sales dollar is taken, if you will, um, by cost of goods sold. So that's how you do each of these. Again, you can, I'll do one more for you. This is to see what the, uh, what your gross profit margin, which is one you'll have to calculate. And that's basically gonna measure um, the value added, if you will. So in other words, in this one, it's for every dollar of sales, the value added or the markup on these goods is 39.43 cents or 39.43%. So you will again be asked to do this type of analysis in your project. You will be asked to do it also for your balance sheet. In the um, project, you'll be asked to do specific ratios, which I've covered in a previous uh, video. And then you also have how to calculate these ratios in, these, in the class notes as well as the text and uh, both under the course content for module three. I do want to mention one, one other thing is uh, the current ratio, it's basically telling you in this example, Orange Republic has $1.80 for every dollar um, of bills or obligations the company has coming due within the year or having to satisfy within the year. Current ratio is typically expressed not as a percentage, but as something to one which can be a little confusing because the debt ratio, although can be expressed um, something to one, it's more commonly expressed as a percentage. So in this example, for every uh, dollar or uh, the assets, 61.3% uh, of the assets um, are the creditors have claims to, the rest, which if you take 100% of your assets minus this percent, oops, I can't do, sorry, I didn't do my equal sign. 100% minus this tells you what percentage, i.e. the rest of it. Whew, the rest of it is the um, owner's claims to those assets. By the way, you can always uh, reduce your <laughs> number of uh, decimals showing. So for every, if you want to look at it this a different way, for every dollar of assets, 61.3 came from creditors, the rest comes from owners. And I think that will help you uh, in preparing or completing the project for this module. And as always, uh, study hard, please. Okay. Hope this helped.